Hey folks, it's Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I'm out here on an early morning on the James River, a foggy morning. We got a little bit of a fog delay. We're not able to run to where we want to run. I'm with my buddy Paul out on his Ranger, and I've got this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro, so I'm gonna crack it open and get it done quick, because I want to get out here and get some topwater fishing, because I know there's a topwater bait in this box. But let me just show you what else is in the box, because there's a whole bunch of good stuff in here that's gonna hopefully work for me today. Uh, right out of the box, the first one is the Hunch. We got that by Ketchco. Ketchco's got a hard bait. So we've got a shallow diving, the hunch by Ketchco. It's going to be a great, great bait, just a great shad imitator. Uh, shallow diver, so that's going to be great for some of the shallow wood I'm dealing with on the James River and uh, some shallow, shallow cover. So that's going to be a great, great start. We've got the Provoke by Six Sense Lures. Provoke is a pearl white jerk bait. So I got a jerk bait to play with out here. Jerk baits all year, all year long, guys. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Jerk baits are killer. So we're gonna hopefully work a jerk bait out here on the James River. This is gonna be uh, absolutely, absolutely perfect for the James River around some of the great grass out here. I have a three eight ounce white swim jig. I got a great trailer I'm gonna throw on there, but that's a Nichols three eight ounce bright white swim jig. What's next out of here? This is looking good, guys. Ultimate Strike Minnow. There's a swim bait opportunity out here on this uh, tidal body of water. So there's a really great natural pattern, shad pattern. Little boot tail swim swim bait I'm gonna work out with probably a weedless swim bait hook, something uh, with a belly weighted deal so I can slide it through the grass. The next one out of the box, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this thing. The J-Bug, VNM Bait's got a J-Bug. Can't have a, can't go to James River without a pitching bait, flipping bait. I got a nice little creature bait, looks like a little watermelon red fleck. So that's going on a little Texas rig. I'm gonna throw that out. And this is what I'm gonna throw on right now. This is going on, this is the Kraken Popper by Lunker Hunt, beautiful little popper great colors perfect colors for where I'm at it's a uh, it's a 7 16 of an ounce so I'm gonna actually be throwing that on a medium heavy probably six and a half medium heavy uh, bait casting rod with 30 pound test so there's the little lunker hunt popper that's going on right now and of course there's always gonna be some terminal tackle in there so for that little flipping bait I've got a little size one little extra wide gap megabyte hooked by mustad guys it is hooked up like i said i was going to do that fast because i want to get fishing this is an incredible place and a rare opportunity for me to hang out with, first of all with my buddy paul thanks for having me buddy and now it's time to get fishing on the title james stay tuned Okay, so I just rigged up the VNM J bug. So the J bug is tied on because as I threw this little lunker hunt popper around with all this wood, this is definitely gonna be a good follow-up bait if I get a blow-up and or just to pitch into some of the cover after a couple casts with a popper. So that Texas rigged J bug is tied on. I got it on my seven foot two Zodius medium heavy with 15 pound test fluorocarbon. So that's going right down on the deck right next to me as I continue the top water game on the James River. So Paul's ahead of me doing his uh, black buzz bait thing, which is a great, great search bait. It covers a lot of water. I'm in behind him with this lunker hunt, like I said, doing the popper thing. I'm doing a little bit of the walking action as I get it closer to me. But as I sit it up against some of this, uh, some of these lay downs and some of this fallen timber, I'm gonna go ahead and do some short pops and keep it in place and see if we can get something to come up and eat as I give it a long pause. Oh, I had a bass chase it down. Look at that, guys. I was actually throwing my top water for a bit, and I threw my literally my first cast with that little VNM uh, VNM bait, and that thing just got bit on the swim. So kind of like a swim jig. You can see with those two twin tails, uh, there's a little action to be had. So as I was bringing it, in, a little dink just whacked it. So there you go. First uh, first bit of action of the day happens to be on my Texas rig. Let's keep flipping that a couple of times. All right, so we've got a mega low tide and. It's a slack tide, so it didn't surprise me that I got that little dink to bite on that subtle moving bait. No noise, no rattles, nothing as loud and, and obnoxious as a little rattling popper like that. So what I'm gonna do is, with this slack tie, not only am I gonna keep pitching and flipping that little creature bait, but I'm gonna go ahead and tie on that swim jig. That white swim jig by Nichols is going on right now. And I'm gonna do a little swimming around some of this cover also since it's so slack, it's really a tame time on a tidal river. So let me go ahead and tie that on and see what happens. So there's an up close look at the sledgehammer by Nichols Lures, three eighths of an ounce. And I've got a great little, uh, great little trailer getting ready to go on here. So with this bright white swim jig, which is perfect for this colored water. Look at that, they got toothpicks in there. 
So you got toothpicks in there if you want to utilize the uh, if you want to utilize the little hole that they have here. Once you put your once you put your trailer on, you can go and stick your toothpick in it and go and break it off and really secure that trailer, which is going to be a just a little rage crawl, a little, a little mini baby rage crawl by uh, Strike King. So I'm just going to go rig that up before I actually tie it on to my before I tie it on to my rod and reel setup. Let's go and feed that on. Always a challenge sometimes putting on your trailers beyond what I do is I just kind of bend that weed guard out of the way make it easy on myself and on on she goes perfect all right so that's what we're dealing with with the nickels and it's got a pretty good it's got a pretty good pretty good deal to hold on that soft plastic so I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna mess with that uh, toothpick at this point so let's put those toothpicks back there we go that's the nickels going on so what I'm gonna do here actually at this point I'm gonna actually trim down that skirt just a little bit just to get it out of the way of those uh, just get it out of the way of those little appendages I'm trying to get more action out of on that rage tail so I'm gonna trim that down we're gonna go ahead and tie her on a seven foot medium with some 15 pound test and swim a jig a couple things have happened since I tied on the nickel swim jig the Sun's breaking out the fogs burning off and we made a little run we went down river we found a little moving water so we've got some moving water a lot more vegetation and uh, still a little bit more wood mixed in here too so this swim jig is gonna be interesting I'm still gonna work that lunker hunt popper and definitely be pitching that creature bait but let's see what some uh, swim jig action does right now had a couple little chasers on the swim jig tiny little tiny little dinks we saw some bait fish scurrying and getting chased by some little bass so they're in here we got some we got some bass in here Paul's uh, breaking out a little spook type bait I'm gonna actually do a little pitching and flipping along some of this grass edges with that creature bait so I'm gonna just keep mixing it up until we catch something and figure something out I don't know I was slow to realize this but I hadn't uh, taken the advantage of a little chartreuse dye for this creature bait we have a little stained water so there's no reason not to add a little a little flash of color or a little brightness to the tail so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see if we get a little more action there we go a little chartreuse never heard a thing do you nice job what'd you get him on nice all right Paul's on board he's got his first fish of the day on a swim jig so he got off oh wait so he got off but Paul's working a darker color in the stained water I was working the swim jig in the uh, in the one out of the mystery tackle box the nickels all white so I've been flipping and pitching the V&M creature bait so we just learned something so Paul got something on a uh, I didn't get a good hook, so. no that was a decent fish nah. a little it wasn't a huge fish or anything but we got her you know the bite all right well swim jigs getting a little action right now so I'm gonna keep pitching while Paul's in front of me doing a little moving bait action Yeah, there was some action just out there in the middle, huh? Yep. A little tiny isolated clump right here. There he is! <laughs> yeah, I'm busting my camera right by the isolated clump. First time I picked up the swim jig, I came out in open water. We saw some action over here uh, in a little more open water. It's a nice fish, too, on a swim jig. Nichols taking care of business. Check that out. I should be able to flip him in here. Nice fish. Check it out, Paul. Isn't that awesome? Okay, great. So the Nichols, second I picked it back up and saw a little uh, flickering of bait out there, game on. So there you go. Nichols swim jig with a little rage straw, a little, uh, little mini rage craw tailor. Awesome. James River fish. I love it. Tidal river fishing is awesome. Thank you, Swim Jig. I will definitely be throwing this a little bit more, but uh, that's the first nice fish of the day, if not the first fish of the day, I should say. That's just another perfect example of why a mystery tackle box. Here I come out on the tidal James River. You know, tidal river fishing is not an easy gig with the with the movement of the water, the lack of movement of the water, and the uh, the conditions changing all the time. Here I have a creature bait to flip. I've got a swim jig to swim. I've got a topwater bite, bite bait to play with. And you know, there's a couple more things I haven't even touched in there yet. So it's just a just a fun thing to break open my uh, mystery tackle box every month and go at it. It's pretty pretty darn awesome. I'm throwing out into the open water where I'm seeing all this little bait fish flickering, a little action out here where I just caught that uh, first swim jig fish. I'm throwing the popper again, but you know. If I, if you remember, I showed it to you. Let me reel this in real quick. The bait fish are like that. They're pretty small, and I've got 
And I've got the uh, the Ketchco Hardbeats. It's going to be the first time I've ever thrown a, uh, a Ketchco Hardbeats. So let me break this thing out. Where are you at? The hunch. The hunch, because it's got a little hunchback. So I'm going to break this out. I'm going to get this thing tied on. It's a shallow diver, and I'm in real shallow water. So this guy, let me see if it's got a rattle in it. It's got a little rattle that might help with the stained water, because it's a real natural color. So there it is. Oh, what a, what a beauty. Look at that. The sun shining on it. That's the hunch. So, yep, it's got a it's got a little rattle. It's about exactly the size of those little uh, shad that are running around in here that these bass are chasing. So I'm going to get that tied on, have that ready to go for whatever circumstance uh, circumstance comes my way. So let's get it tied on and see what happens. Yeah, this is catching a little bit of grass. All right, well, it's a shallow diver, but it's picking up a little bit of grass. There's a couple of areas where the ditches are a little bit deeper, but I'm trying to throw it right up on the edge of some of these grass and some of the grass and some of the uh, areas that might be holding little bait fish where these bass are ambushing. So I'm going to go back to that swim jig for a little bit just to cover some of this water because that was a that was the trick a minute ago. So let's just keep at it, go back and forth between these baits and see what they want. Okay, folks, we have uh, we have run way up the tidal, James. We are almost, oh, we are in Richmond, actually, I should say. And uh, we came to find some clear water because there's another bait out of the mystery tackle box. We got that beautiful little swim bait that's out of there. I got on a uh, belly-weighted swim bait hook. So clear water, that's the deal. I've got a jerk bait to play with also. So I thought uh, if we're not having it happen, which it wasn't, we were struggling down there on the lower James. So we're going to work it out up here in the Richmond area, see if we can pull something off with the last couple baits out of the mystery tackle box. So you all just stay tuned tuned here goes my first cast with the uh the swim bait paul managed to get himself one little dink on a on a texas rigged beaver bait of course i got my one fish on the uh one fish on the nickels nickels lures swim jig so now this clear water is my is my last hope to see if i can get a couple more fish this has been a rough day we've talked to a lot of people out here on the river the tides were right the conditions seemed perfect but it's been hit or miss so let's see if we can make some magic happen we got an interesting influx of water coming in this little uh, this little creek. It's getting a little more urban up here, so we got a little more urban upper tidal James, which is pretty cool. So this water is so perfectly clear for this swim bait. Not only is this a great option, but I've got that uh, that really cool catch code crankbait I'm going to throw a little bit against this little wall right here so I'm going to put this uh, down and have the crankbait right next to me and I'm going to have the swim bait ready to roll and we're going to see if we can pull something off here on the James all right there comes that crankbait perfect color for this clear water I love this thing this thing's really really cool looking all right, so we beat up this wall a little bit. I'm just standing on here because Paul's just going to gently idle over. To the opposite side, we're going to find the shade. We're going to make sure on the bright, sunny day we fish those shade lines and give ourselves a little better opportunity to find some fish. So that's going to be the hope and at least the dream. So let's see what happens. There's Richmond. We're right in the heart of it. It's actually the first time I've ever fished in uh, urban Richmond scene tidal river, uh, James. So it's kind of different. Okay, we're working it. We still got a drop shot going on up front, just trying to catch a fish. I've got now the uh, the six cents lure jerk bait, and it's going to be a jerk bait on the upper tidal James. How cool is that? And it's clear enough for it. And we got cloud cover, so that bone pearl color, that matted bone pearl color, is absolutely perfect for the conditions. The sun's in and out, but it's still ideal. I mean, there's a tiny tinge in the water. It's not crystal clear. So if there was any color choice to choose, it would have been something like this. So we're going to go ahead and tie it on, and we're going to get fishing a jerk bait. All right, there we go. So with the exception of that little Mustad number one megabyte kind of wide gap hook that terminal tackle in the mystery tackle box this month, that's the last uh, that's the last bait, at least at the least. I'm showing you what we got. We got some good baits out of here, but you never know what's going to happen on any body water on any given day. So it's always fun to get out here and challenge them. Paul's been doing it up. He's How many different baits have you fished today? Different things, like 10, 12 different techniques? Everything. everything. We've tried everything, folks. And like I said, okay, it's just one of those days on the title, James, we're, we're struggling, but it's still awesome to be out here. Here we go. I'm, I'm working that first cast, that, that six cents lure. It looks, it's awesome in the water. Let me get up close a little bit. Thing. This thing is all kinds of crazy. Yep, suspending beautifully. So the deal is, uh, you know, like a soft plastic jerk bait, like a zoom fluke and that pearl white, that's just giving me a little bit of a rattle and it's suspending and it's going just a little deeper. So it's kind of the same idea of that, of that fluke. So I'm throwing this out there, just trying to stay out of the wood 
keep myself from snagging up and hopefully gonna get that reaction bite yeah it's going it's jerky it's going good it's got some it's got good action you see it heck yeah and the coolest thing about the upper james is there are some smallmouth up here so i'm in good company uh when it comes to smallmouth and largemouth so a jerk bait is definitely definitely on the menu I think for the rest of the evening, my best bet is going to be throwing this really super subtle swim bait and throwing that Texas rigged VNM creature bait. So that's what I'm going to be doing. There's a lot of wood. This is going to be the this is going to be the deal to cover water. So I'm going to just cover a little bit of water with that beauty, and then every time I come up on a piece of wood, we're just going to pray we're going to get that Texas rig bite. So just hang in there with me. We're fishing, even though I've got clear water, even though we're in a tidal situation, sometimes those jerk baits and crank baits and rattling noises and the colors are perfect, but a little bit mu too much noise in a day on a day like today, it's just not happening. If I, if I continue to watch my buddy Paul up here struggle with a drop shot, it tells a tale. It's a puzzle we put together, and you know, if it's just this difficult, I'm going to keep it really, really subtle and keep it really, really natural, and hopefully that's going to be what it takes to get that last bite or two of the day. Paul, you catching them on the drop shot? Yeah, that's a negative. <laughs> it's a tough one right here. Let's cast out there. Come on. Do you really? Oh, on the drop shot, yes? Yeah. Nice job. Oh my gosh, guys, finally we get ourselves a fish. Paul's, it looks like a big one. Is it a nice fish? Yeah. Awesome, okay, let me, let me put my rod down. Oh, it's a, oh, I almost took my rod in. <laughs> that's so funny, I think I'm catching your fish too. Did it swim in my line? Yeah. Okay, that's all right, we'll work it out. That's a great job, dude. Yeah, he's got my line. Go ahead, go ahead and land him. I had my Texas rig out there and I was basically parallel and Paul and his fish swam into my, uh, his fish swam into my, into my line. And we landed a fish, unbelievable, you get it? Get that fish. Oh my gosh, with all the lines thing, I can't believe it. Good job, Paul. Paul got himself a little drop shot fish. And the upper tidal, upper tidal James, clear water. We finally found some, uh, Finally found some techniques at work and it happened to be a drop shot. So yeah, I'm still working the Texas rig uh, VNM creature bait and I've got my swim bait. So I'm just throwing up exactly where Paul was. So of course the drop shot will always catch them. Let's just see if I can get one of these guys to get one of these guys to work for me. Is that a fish? I swear I got one. <laughs> I can't believe it. Is it a bass though? It is a bass on the Texas rig. Right up on this little pillar. Oh my gosh, guys, the best part about uh, catching a fish finally is when the chesty pops and the battery dies right as I catch one finally. So you're hearing some horrible uh, audio right now and my, uh, we just had a giant, giant, uh, giant boat go by and give me a big wake dropping a, dropping a big old wake on it. So itty bitty little bass. So I got myself a fish. Paul, it's only been about 10 minutes since you drop shot fish. Yeah. So there's our Texas rig. We got the VNM creature bait. So I got the swim bait to work. I really think this creature bait is going to probably be my best bet. So let's put that little dink back. Sorry about the bad audio. Let's get Chesty back working again. Okay, so folks, I am uh, I'm really excited because there was one more piece of terminal tackle in the mystery tackle box this month. A little size one must add megabyte, itty bitty little wide gap hook that's the perfect size for the Zoom U-tail worm. So I always have those U-tail worms with me, especially on the James River, just a killer, killer bait. That's just a green pumpkin. That's a little 1 8 ounce tungsten pegged on a shaky head special loose spinning rod. So I've got 12 pound test leader and 12 pound test braid. And that is absolutely as finesse as I can, I can get. I mean, if I'm not doing a drop shot, I'm doing a finesse Texas rig. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna throw this out there. This will be a lot more finesse than that creature bait. It hopefully get me another bite or two if I'm lucky. This is it. This is all I'm fishing for the rest of the night. And again, thank you, Mr. Tackle, Mystery Tackle Box. I got my terminal tackle, the hook up, my U-tail worm. So into some wood it goes. It's one more great look at how perfectly matched that number one megabyte hook by Mustad matches up on that little Texas rigged U-tail worm by Zoom. Absolutely awesome gig. Nice. Got him, didn't you? Oh, it's a nice one? Oh, that's a what do you got? Is it a bass? Let's see. Oh, nice bass. Good job. Okay. Paul, Paul got himself a nice big bellied baby. That's awesome. All right. Cool. Good job, Paul. Chop shot strikes again. Still working the U-tail worm. Boy, I've got to tell you, we've been out here. We made a day of it. 
Uh, we didn't fish all day. We actually found a spot, and it's a rare day that we fish anywhere where we actually can pull the boat over and find a hot meal. We actually, running up river, there's a little spot we actually were able to pull over, dock the boat, ran up, had a cold one, and uh, enjoyed ourselves a actual hot meal. Got myself a pulled pork barbecue sandwich. Paul got a crab cake. So we actually took an hour, maybe almost two hours, just kind of chilling, and then got back out here and did a little more fishing for the afternoon, trying to work the second tide. So there you go. Good job, Paul. Way to go, man. Unbelievable. We got another fish. <laughs> Miracles happen. All right, folks. I just slapped the first mosquito of the night off my leg, and it was a good one. So he drew blood. It's about that time. The sun is dipped. Paul, thanks for having me out. Anytime. The James wasn't too nice to us today. We've had better days out here, but it's always a great time to get out, and it's been a long one, so not a bad deal to get out and spend that much time on the water, regardless of how it goes. But even better, it was fun to break out the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for this month. And look what I did. Guys, take a look at this. This is everything that was in the Pro Box this month. Look at that selection. Unbelievable. Shallow diving crankbait, swim jig, topwater popper, jerk bait, creature bait, swim bait. And we got ourselves some terminal tackle to play with our very last bait of the night, which is my little finesse you tell the worm to work with that little, that little mustad hook. So folks, it's been great. Remember, if you want to treat yourself to a mystery tackle box of your own, just go to mysterytacklebox.com and treat yourself. $10 off your first box if you use my code. It's YTFB, short for YouTube Fishing Vids. Folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.